Hi, today we're going to be discussing how to do your Edmodo character project and stepping through the elements of Edmodo and setting up a character. So first of all, let me explain what the character project is. Um, you're going to be putting in the things we talked about, like your narrative essay, expository essay, um, into the Edmodo so that we can all look at it, we can all share and comment on it, and also so that we can have a better understanding of the characters of Things Fall Apart. So, um, the first thing, uh, the expository essay, um, you already know about that, so we're going to skip down to the profile. Um, in Edmodo, which I'll show you in a minute, you are going to create um, a character name, which you will be getting. You will all be assigned a character, and you will put your character name in parentheses. You'll put a quote, and again, this all is set up for you in Edmodo. You just click, see which one fits for B, C, and D. Now for E, it says a photo. You're going to be putting a photo of your character. This cannot be a Google image. You can either make a South Park figure, you can take a picture of yourself and put that dressed up as one of the characters and put that in, um, or you can um, do an avatar type thing. But it needs to be your creation, not Google images. Okay, so this part is very easy. Um, it's 20 points and it is due on Friday for A day and Monday for B day. Um, you are also going to put in for three. Um, this is also due um, Friday. Is you're going to put in an initial post describing your character. Just one or two sentences, just introducing yourself. It should be in the character style and voice. Think about what is important to your character and what he or she would want others to think of them at an introduction. Okay. Um, also on the Edamoto page, uh, you're going to put in uh, the This I Believe statement. That will be next week. And then you will be posting on each other's. And then there is also an extra credit opportunity. All the specific directions are always located on the website. But what I really want to go over with you today is how to uh, do make an Edmodo account. So you're going to go to edmodo.com and you're going to sign up as a student. So when it says group code, um, I gave you this code right here so you can just copy and paste it. And you're going to put in a user name. So, well, right? Um, you put in, and because a lot of you will be creating that, you have to make up an epitaph probably for that as well. So, password, um, your email. I do highly suggest that you do put in an email for that. Okay, so this is what it um, looks like, what your page looks like. And so for this, I'm going to click on your name, and it comes up with the different things that we're talking about, like select a quote, how do you learn hands-on, so I just want you to think about what that character is, and it gives you all of these things. Okay, so for adding a picture, I'm going to go to Account, Settings, and then that is where you will choose your name. Also, because uh, when I was signing up, I put in my name, and again, it has to be your character's name 
So then put your first name as your character's name and then your last name make that your full name. So it'll come up as the character that you have. Okay, so we go back to home. There comes up that. So when you are looking at it, see so it says notifications, three assignments due. So you click the assignments due, and it already has what you will you will do on that date. So upcoming here, um, you will need to do initial post. So you'll just reply to that, and then once we start replying, then or once people start put, putting on that, then you can add your different posts onto that. Um, this very much looks like Facebook. Um, it has a lot of the same elements. It's very, very easy to follow through. You have to look at your assignments, um, post them on there. Again, if you have any questions, please post them on the blog.